What's crack and lacking YouTube? It's uh, Bang Aquatics back with another video. Back from a long hiatus. Don't hate us because you ain't us. Um, gonna talk about this bowfront aquarium and uh, why I would not recommend bowfront aquariums in general um, to my friends, fair family, or fellow hobbyists looking to get into aquariums. Um, I've had this tank for seven years. I enjoy it, I like it, but if I could buy a different tank um, back in the day, I probably would have. Probably would have bought a 40 breeder. Um, with that being said, I think a 40 breeder might be a little bit too shallow for my buddy big homie over there. Look at him chilling. Still the king of the tank. Yeah. Um, anyways, uh, the dimensions of the tank, uh, it's 19 inches tall, so a very tall tank. 18 inches front to back um, in the middle. But on the sides, it's 12 inches front to back. So not so deep on the sides, pretty deep front to back in the middle. Um, me being a hobbyist, uh, aquarium hobbyists, some things I like to get into more specifically in the hobby are aquascaping um, and growing plants, aquatic plants. And that's really kind of tough to do with a bullfront aquarium, both of those things. And that's primarily why I don't like it. So let's get into the reasons specifically, and maybe I can help edge you guys a little bit. Reason number five, pretty long list, is it's hard to clean. Um, being so tall, gravel vacuuming, not an easy task. Um, cleaning the glass because it's curved. If you're a new aquarist and use a razor blade, you can't do a good job at cleaning the glass um, because it's curved, so it's tough to get it flush. I don't clean aquariums anymore with razor blades because it's a rookie move. It's how you scrape your glass even in a flat, completely flat tank. Um, it's how you damage your tank and make it not worth so much um, or lose its value. People sell tanks over um, scratch glass. That's a fact. Uh, so if you're somebody who thinks you're going to have a picture perfect aquascape, if you scrape your glass, easier to do with this bad boy. Um, then good luck owning a bow front aquarium because you can't, you're gonna, it's harder. It's harder to clean the, the glass, even, even the front of the glass because it's so deep. Um, reason number four why I would not recommend buying a bow front aquarium um, is because you can't find good stands, all right? Being three feet long, you know, this weighs an easy 350 pounds. Um, full of water. So you need something really sturdy um, and something that's going to support the weight correctly and not bend or break um, because then you'll have water all over your house and 400 or 300 plus gallons of, or pounds of water. It's a big issue uh, to anybody who owns a home or rents a home or lives anywhere. Make sure you get a good stand if you decide to get a bow front because they're kind of hard to, they're hard to find, number one. Number two, um, they're a weird shape, so like you need to make sure that they're structurally sound to hold something that's a weird shape um, in terms of its uh, footprint. Um, number three, because it's so tall, um, it's tough to grow plants. So if you want to be an aquascaper or an amateur aquascaper, you just do it because you like it, you're not going to get the best plant growth because um, it's so tall that the light kind of fades out when by the time you get to the bottom. Now these, uh, oh, what are these? These Cryptwentes, one of the first aquarium plants I ever owned, um, they, I've had success in here before, but they are—they don't do as well as they do in my other aqu aquascapes. Um, yeah, the plants don't grow as tall, um, or they don't grow tall enough, I should say. You're not going to find many plants that grow to the surface here. This is a random hygrophila I got for two bucks a couple of years ago, a bunch of years ago, um, that just like likes deep tank, deep water. But you're not going to get, you know, your Rotalas, your Ludwigias that are going to grow to the surface 19 inches 
um, and they're not gonna like the low amounts of light that they get when they're, you know, eight inches tall, but gotta work, gotta go another foot um, to get to get light. Um, so you can't grow, grow plants that well because the tank is so tall. Um, not to mention, I, well, I already mentioned that you, you know, cleaning the tank is more challenging um, because it's so deep. Reason number two why I would not recommend um, the Bowfront Aquarium to somebody is in terms of its front to back depth, it's pretty dang shallow. Okay, so, you know, 46 gallons of water on the sides, you only get 12 inches front to back. So, you know, if you want to make a cool layout, you're kind of limited um, to doing it in the middle. You probably can't realize this, but most of these plants that are growing in the middle here are actually in the back. Um, and that's, that's kind of a different point, but uh, if you really want to do some cool sort of, you know, scale using larger items in front, and deeper and smaller items in the back, you're kind of limited because uh, most of the tank isn't 18 inches deep. It's only in the middle. And then it's probably 16 and then it's probably 14. And then, you know, from here to here, it's probably 12 inches. Well, on the sides, definitely 12 inches. Um, so, you know, you're, you're kind of limited with what you're able to do in terms of an aquascape. If anybody's able to find a really sick bullfront aquascape on like a Google search, post it in the comments, post the link in the comments and uh, I'll take it back because I know I've looked and I can't find one. If you can find one in the IAPLC, whoo, That'd be really awesome. Copy and paste that one, please. I don't think it exists. I bet you it doesn't. Um, but if you find it, go for it, post it. Uh, in the comments below, like, subscribe, all that jazz. Number one reason, the most important reason uh, why I would not recommend uh, somebody who likes aquascaping or aquatic plants to buy a bow front aquarium is because of the shape of the glass specifically when it's filled with water. When the tank is empty, you know, everything looks nice and flat and how it's supposed to look. But when it's filled with water, the curved glass, and this is the reason why I don't like it, um, the, the main reason why I don't like it, acts like a magnifying glass for things in the back. So things in the back automatically, no matter what, look bigger. They're literally magnified by the curve of the tank. And that goes with the Fluval Flex too. Those, you know, those tanks that get bigger in the middle, uh, higher up, and then, you know, the, those ones. Google Fluval Flex if you don't know what it is. Um, it magnifies objects in the back. So you can't have anything um, in the front looking extra small, uh, or anything in the back, I should say, looking extra small, because you literally have a magnifying glass for a tank. So you can't do a cool aquascape. And that's my biggest problem with this um, aquarium. And that's, that's why I wouldn't really recommend it to, to anyone looking to get into the hobby and, and into, aqu into aquascaping. Um, I'll give you a bonus one too, uh, or a bonus reason why not to buy a, or why I wouldn't recommend a bow front aquarium. I'm sitting in front of the tank almost, right? My shoulder's like next to it. I can see big homie just fine because he's six inches away. But the curve of the glass, like I can't see anything over on that side of the tank. I can make out that there's a heater, that's it. Um, I can't see any of the wall on that side. Um, and I'd probably be able to do it um, if it was flat. Seriously, even if it was 18 inches flat and flat, I'd probably be able to see that side better. Um, yeah, so those are the five plus ones. So the six reasons that uh, I would recommend against buying a Bowfront Aquarium. Uh, with that being said, this tank never leaked. It worked fine for me, but if you're getting into aquascaping, if you like aquatic plants, don't get a really tall tank and don't get a bowfront aquarium. Um, yeah. But anyways, sorry to post a bummer um, dissing an aquarium tank or anything in the hobby uh, for that matter. But I just think people, you know, might have a better time if they get a cubic tank or, you know, a uh, rectangular tank. Um, so yeah, hit the like button, hit subscribe. I'm gonna try and make some more videos. Um, yeah. Oh, 
to replace this tank, I got a 80A 90P aquarium. So I'm gonna be coming out with some cool footage of me building a new stand um, and me escaping the tank. Um, I got a buddy who, who escapes too, so he's gonna come and help me. We're gonna have a good time doing it. Um, so yeah, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're staying safe and healthy in this challenging time we live in. And um, big homies, happy to see you. And um, stay safe, keep escaping everybody. Peace.